All right. So we got some hardened scales. Um, I traded with this earlier in the week, and it didn't have any hardened scales in it. Um, <laughs> ironically, uh, I, when I, when I, saw, I got the idea from this. I, I, I just changed like ten cards. I went from chalices to thorns, and you know, some one offs, this and that. Change the sideboard. Um, but I'm gonna try hardened scales now with. Bowmaster being so popular, like having everything come out automatically with one extra counter is pretty big. We are low on creatures, which is a concern. Um, but let's see. I also added one hearse in the main to help with all the scam stuff. Um, then sideboards, like some one ofs, some anti combo stuff, like a loan for value, some more besages, like so. Just all pretty cool stuff. But uh, yeah, I got a trophy with it. Um, what did I cut for these? I cut the. Steel Overseers, because I did not activate Steel Overseer one time. So. Steel Overseer literally just, just, just died right away. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we got an easy keep here. We'll go uh Mox Opal. Then Ancient Tomb Thorn. Nice follow up with either Ravager or Wasteland. Like uh Ravager plus Wasteland or Saga. Looks like it'll be a Saga. Ooh, that's kind of good. So I'm going to play this. May I have to play this first? Pretty powerful start. It's pretty powerful. Now, if they only have like a dual land, uh, being able to listen is pretty strong. Having the saga to back this up is strong. Oh, basic planes. Okay, let's see if they have exactly like what's scary here. Island ending on this or Stone Forge Mystic would be annoying. Looks like it's going to be an ending on my uh, thorn. Deal. Animation modules actually kind of hot. So we have here. Back to basics would be not backbreaking, but pretty annoying. So the fairy doesn't really matter, and our set doesn't matter. It's really just back to basics, main deck. Fucking always. It's so fucking insane. It's so insane. I face like the main deck back to basics players. So this gets Mox Opal, I guess. Seven. Uh, how much damage can I do here? I 
I can sack this land. I don't know, I'm gonna try to do like some sort of a lethal, like some sort of a lethal line here. See if I could find lethal. So this is probably not quite lethal, right? I'm trying to think about Ozolith. If I sack. Same damage, right? So this would be 12. I sack it to itself. The counters go on here. Alright, so that's 11. I sack it to itself. This goes to 5, 10, 15. 15, 16, is that right? Six, right, so I sack it to itself. This goes to five, this goes to four power. It gets plus six and then plus six again. I guess I could sack this. Kind of just all in. Wow, that was kind of cool. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Nice back to basics, huh? Wow. <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> pretty great. That was really impressive. I feel like we want Besages. <laughs> I feel like we just want like, a lot of Besages. Um... That was an awesome win. Um, I'm like, that's a good start. <laughs> to the, the main deck back to basics versus all non-basics. And we got there. Arcbound Ravager plus Ozolith is kind of cracked. The first time. I played this deck a couple times. That was the first time. Oh, it looks like this person only plays Vintage, huh? Yeah, I, I haven't seen, like... Like, I don't know these decks are playable. Whenever I've looked at control, just I can't. I can never imagine. I guess like you have a little bit of game now with the uh, fourth Aerolingus, but like back to basics seems so slow. Main deck, I mean reasonable sideboard card. Uh, probably don't need meltdowns. Uh, <clears throat> they probably don't have meltdowns, so we can cut Walling Jar. They probably don't like Stony Silences. Uh, even like one Walling Jar, what's that going to do for some meltdown? You know. Um, hey, where am I? Stone Brain, Loam. Is interesting for a grindy game. We could probably cut a waste. We could probably cut like yeah, like two wastelands pretty easily since we brought in two besages. Maybe bring a haywire might. That's just another way to uh, tag that stuff. Oh, we do have the unlicensed hearse. Mm. Could even cut unlicensed hearse. I mean, cut that to bring an unlicensed hearse. Just like another threat. Sure. Let's try that. Uh, this hand looks great. Looks great. What? Why? Why would you play Asper? Come on. Uh, that's uh, decent. Yeah, they're just gonna go to Saga. Just gonna try to Saga them. Wow. 
One drop would have been pretty sweet, but what can you do? Uh, brick on land. Brick on land. Stuck on one. Stuck on one land, baby. Scoop it up. Yeah, so Arcbound plus... The animation module is insane. <laughs> Look at that mana base. Okay, sure. Gonna swamp cycle with the dude? Nope. Do do do. Sure. Deal. Nope, they found the fetch. So lucky. So what are the odds they have a dress down? Like a hundred percent? Yeah, this is they're like <laughs> basic island and basic plains to basic swamp underground. Say, huh? I kind of don't want to play this if we're being honest. I'm just gonna sandbag that. I think. Like, if they have a dress down, it's just so bad. Or like a verdict, they just get like a 1-1. One, one. It's not that impressive. Oh, it's just super bad cards. Okay, cool. Good thing we boarded in extra Pesajus. Like Stony Silence, I think it's just so much scarier, isn't it? Okay. Uh... Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna activate this just to put them to one because they only have one white source currently. I mean, if they have verdict like and white source, it sucks. But putting them to one is really big. And if they have verdict, they get a one one hanger back token, so that's cool. If they have energy flux here, I still win because I just pay for like two toe two little attackers. So I'm I'm not, I'm just unsure of what this deck is doing. Like, I just didn't see a game plan. No shuffle. Am I dead? No. <laughs> no. Come on, what are we doing here? What are we even doing here? Yeah, okay. Cool. Pretty, pretty dominating win. <laughs> like, like, really dominating. Ozolith, Arcbound Ravager, just busted. Absolutely busted. Uh, the two Cyborg Besages coming in clutch. Yeah, no, it felt really good. Though, I, like I said, I personally don't like that version of the deck. Why I play modern decks in Legacy. Uh, I don't know. It's fun. Like, I think it's really boring... To play the same deck all over and over. And I think it's like... I, I just don't enjoy playing with the top deck. Because then also you run into a lot of mirrors. And the decks I like are typically... Like if they're good, they're they're long, like grindy decks. And it's like... It's not good to stream. Um, like... <laughs> so it's just... It's a combination of so many things. And I think there's things like this are unexplored, you know, which are cool. Because they require a lot more work. Gracias. Por tanto... Oh, modern decks and legacy. Well, I think modern the gap between modern and legacy is smaller than ever, you know? So it's like, why not? It seems decent. You know, it's it's just so close ever since the horizons. Like you like you couldn't do that before modern horizons, but it's like it's just so close. Oh, uh Sunday, the event on Sunday. God. <laughs> 
sure. Um, and they have a painter as well? They don't. Hmm. Yeah, let me go after this. It, is, it fucks with my stuff too much. They have Karn. Other one. Okay, we, we we can actually we can, that's fine. We can we can erase that. I mean it's not fine, but we can we can like. Oh my god, that's such a fucking insane draw. Wow, love this card. Yes, yeah, two days depending. I mean, yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Draw you. I'm never gonna respond to you drawing. Like we have a, this is a very fast clock. It's in like 36 hours, give or take. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play. If I do play, I'm not sure what I'm playing. Tonight would maybe help me uh, understand what makes the most sense. So we have this. Goblin World is annoying. Wow, okay. If they have... This is only in trouble if they naturally have the... Wow, that's awesome as well. I probably should have attacked first. Because now they'll just chump with this. It's kind of silly of me. Not chumping, okay. Do everything else, nothing really to interact in the main left. I guess I have Ozolith, okay. But this just, it's fine. Um, I think I can win here. I, I think I just win, right? Oh my god, hardened scales. Wow. So I think I just get Ozlith. <laughs> Ozlith is just... I probably should have equipped there, honestly. Uh, I can't sack that. No, I probably have to sack this anyway. Yeah. Oh my god! All the I forgot those counters going here. Holy shit! Holy shit. <laughs> this is fucking insane. <laughs> this is like actually just fucking stone bodying people right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Build your own transformer. Wow, that dude, that was just sick. <laughs> that was so good. So we get to cut the thorns, I think. Uh, we're never going to search the forest. Uh, they may have Blood Moon, but they have Saga 2, and we can win through a Blood Moon pretty easily, I think. Uh, yeah, we have the Opals and the Springleaf Drum. We have, a, I think, Walding Jar is pretty good to keep. Maybe we cut... 
like one hanger back or one one more hanger back maybe do I want surgicals is the question wow Ozolith has just been comical it's so good um I think I'll Basilisk color honestly for the Walking Ballista also. Damn. Really have to just hope they're not on Karn. Um, I'm gonna try this. I think. Don't want to dilute it too much. Can you all hear the music? I have music on, like, real. I don't want it to be, like, loud, but I don't know if you can hear it at all. Oh, man, this hand is so good. Yeah, man. Gotta keep it. Wish you had, like, a dismember, but. Welder turn one is annoying. Yeah, this card having Ward 2 is just so sick. Next turn, we get the double spell. God, the counters from this going on the Ozlith, like, wow, just <laughs> so cracked. Play Blood Moon. Play Blood Moon. Goblin Dream. Okay. Deal. See if they get the draw three or like a painter combo part. Painter. Hmm. I think I name Grindstone. No, because I think I could Pyroblast it by getting this into play. Yeah, I'm just gonna name Goblin Walder. Oop, Engineer. <laughs> Almost uh, caught myself. If they have a Blood Moon, it's it's annoying, but we could yeah you know, we could work our way through it. They have three cards in hand. Okay. So we'll just go to combat before I cast anything. Poke our damage in. Do they have a lightning bolt? The one attack with this is the question. Playing Ink Moth. Ink Moth is a way to win because you could we could just attack, we could just uh, Ozolith them as well, attack with one power. So let's play Ink Moth and Shadow Spear, main two. Uh 
Hmm. Sure. Next level, Claudia. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Wow. Here I get. Do we get haywire mite? I think we. Maybe I should have made a token and made a haywire mite. It's probably the safest thing to do. And it exiles it. No, thanks, Whiskey. Bro, why are you hating? Spirit, honestly, like, you talk too much shit to not be a sub, all right? <laughs> 2040. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I did play. I used to play a ton of Cradle. Yeah, cause, cause I did well in the buff, uh, not like the legacy pit. I was doing well. I did a lot of legacy pit, so I streamed it a little bit. But I need like 20, 23 follows to get to a thousand. So if you're not following, now's a good time. Motown four three zero. They are three zero. Let's try to crush their dreams, huh? Let's try to dream crush some people. Um, it's very fair. Like, double soggy hands are tough for a lot of decks to beat. Looks like... What did they play before? Oh, they played... Gordon. I'll try it. Prismatic, okay, sure. Saga is normally tough for Prismatic Vista. Unless they're on, like, uh, yeah, show and tell. Like, like it has to be, like, the, um, the blue-green version. Oh, oh, they're on, like, uh, the initial, okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Did there's an uh, Earth Air for Lingus or whatever? Okay. All right. All right. This is actually something. I feel like this is a start we could probably beat. Sure. Pass here. Yeah, they played red green before, not super people who like this deck just like always play the same deck, right? Uh that's okay. So that's a win con for us, honestly. <laughs> Fox what? Oh my god.
Oh, this is too funny. This is genuinely like, when you run into deck like this, you have to laugh. I think I lost this person playing like Burn before. What can you do? <laughs> Nothing to do but laugh. There's another one of these. That's exactly enough. It's exactly enough. Even with my gain. It's uh, 14, nine, uh, literally 18 when I gain 6. Wow. Opponent's uh, a solid gamer. They can math. Nice. <laughs> the double mock. <laughs> so funny. Losing the decks like this. Oh, man. Uh... Just like the natural double fourth and ten cards. <laughs> Basilisk color. Uh, probably need Besaju. They're probably on initiative as well, right? Uh, probably just don't need Welding Jars. Passive. Yeah, might be okay. If they're on exile effects, this is like oh Thorn. Thorn's really bad. I mean Thorn was he actually didn't cast a creature. Thorn Thorn was fucking great actually. <laughs> Maybe I need to keep Thorn because it's just they apparently don't have creatures. What am I doing? Ah, I'm gonna try this. This is funny. Like, two bad decks passing in the night. <laughs> Just, like, running into each other. Uh, oh, my God. The, this is this card looks insane here. Just... Okay. I don't like this at all. I'm definitely just going to go turn one Thorn. Versus, like, all, like mocked... Fucking <laughs> mock so full. Mox Diamond Lotus Petal. <laughs> Sure, it's so funny. Ugh. They probably have like Mox Diamond with like 20 lands. Uh, yeah, they put it right in like that initiative. Uh, what do you call it? And Chrome, they're they're running Chrome Ox, which needs spells. Mox Mox Diamond, which needs lands. <laughs> and they they didn't. What's happening? What is happening? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna play this. Get this down. Start pumping it up. Pump up the jams. <laughs> they they exiled the spirit guide to play Chromox and didn't imprint it. There has to be a misclick. I mean, I, 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 I'm giving I'm giving it credit. It was 100 percent a misclick. Like they meant to like pay one with this to play it and then imprint that. But you know, probably just like interface sequencing. No, I think it was because it, what they should do is ha tap this to play this, imprinting Spirit Guide, then tap this to play Lotus Petal. Even if they have Mox Opal, so it's just like it was, it's definitely just like a misclick. Like they like they, I, I what what am I thinking? <laughs> All mana rocks. Like, how do you have enough colored spells and enough lands and enough artifacts in your creature attacking deck? It's just crazy. It's just beyond my understanding is all. I just can't, I just, I just, I, my little brain can't get it. Uh, if they have a fury. If 
Probably have to just play out the Ravager for now. I just can't fathom how this deck is built with prismatic vistas and like it's just uh, that's fine. Okay, like we can we'll that's whatever. Sure, not really concerned about that right now. It is like the least of my worries. Well, I was going to to wasteland them, but I think like getting patchwork out is pretty big. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just a ring, you know, like like, like you just, you throw out anything with soul lands. How bad could it be? That's un I think we have like lethal now. That's so unplayable. Mm, it's just like I, I just I just kill it, right? Do I use Ravager to make it huge? Sack this, get two tokens, sack the two tokens, may just make this thing massive. One here, attack here, attack there. Or do I just ping, lose this, pump this, attack there? Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. I think I want to just keep my board pretty big. And then we're just going to waste this. That's like the the literal worst draw of the deck, I'm pretty sure. So we just take care of that and go there. Like if I just drew any artifact, then I could leave this back to pump, but I had to send it. Cause I only had three power. I guess I could have sacked Thorn. Thorn seems to have been doing a lot of work. They they have not played a creature yet, so I think Thorn's actually pretty good. It's always what happens. Like I face like <laughs> like what'll happen is I'll face like Shadow and stuff and win, and I just lose to like a deck like this. Come on, please, dude. Yeah, sure. Just, uh... <laughs> yeah, this has been doing doing good work, I think. And next time we just get to pump this. Hopefully draw an artifact to pump this as well.
So there's probably eight spirit guides. Uh, at least it's something. At least it pumps this. So they're technically at 10. Ancient Tomb could make them go to 8. I can pump Hanger back to 3 and sack it for 3 flyers. All interesting stuff. Yeah, nothing really in my sideboard so far I wish I had. So. I think we sideboarded fine. I do wish opponent would play a little faster, though. It's starting to, like, lose my attention, which is where I, I make mistakes. Yeah, unless they get a ring in play, you know. <laughs> like, like, if they draw, like, you know what I mean? Like, they drew three rings in, in 20 cards, which is, you know, not exactly likely. And, it, and uh, <laughs> they draw another card. It, their upkeep is eight. This is six. I have, this is just ticking away. Like, a saga would be pretty cool up uh, more artifacts that I can cast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think like storm like for like a, a soul land deck, I think Stormbrain's like a pretty reasonable sideboard card. All right, they're chilling at eight. So this is six on their upkeep. This is just killer. Like, like that was the most painful victory <laughs> like, that I've ever could experience. Like, they had three rings and died. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what well, was so painful? Oh man! All right, now we're just gonna lose on the draw. Just GG on the draw, right? Uh, I was wondering why I had Pith Needle, but obviously Ring and um, whatever that idiot Minskabu. Uh, let's look good. Yeah, I don't think I want a stone brain because it's just like I wouldn't even hit ring. I would sh I would hit uh fourth Aerolingus and Minskabu. Like seem like the only ways they can win. Um, pacification area yeah, it doesn't seem great. They got dismembers just to like, if they go for like a fast fourth on turn two. I mean, the thing is, that, like, it looks like they're all in. Like, they're, they're it looks like their deck is just built to fourth on turn one, right? It's like nothing else. It, the deck's like weird mana sources and like fourth on one, and that can win a lot of the times, especially versus non force will decks. So like, I understand like like that this person is three and zero oh because like it, they just forced. It's essentially oops all the spells. 
Like, I have fourth on turn one. Do I, I have ring on turn one. It's like Balustrade Spy. Or, like, do you have four as well? <laughs> if not, I'm going to win the game. It's going to take eight turns, but I'll win the game. Um... Let's try, let's try some dismembers on the draw. I mean, if they get a Minskin boom in play, they're just like, yeah, I won't be able to do anything about it anyway. God, this hand's an ancient tomb away of being playable. It has an answer. No, I'm going to keep it. I think, I think we have the help they just don't have like a turn one arrow for it. If they have turn one fourth, none of our plays matter, which they probably have. Excuse me? Pardon? <laughs> like... Did they just top deck another spirit guy to... F yeah. See, they, they, like I said, this is... Yeah, they kept a no-lander. <laughs> they kept a no-lander. I'm just trying to do this. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so our goal... I think we're just going to play this in a thorn. There you go. Oh, I should have played a one... Oops. Uh, I forgot to turn that on. I fucked up. I, I could have one more one drop in play. I could have like a Haywire I might in play right now. Oh, it's a creature. I could have played it anyway. Oh my god. I'm like so tilted from facing this deck. <laughs> like my mind is, is just... Like I could have gotten the Monarch. Like just everything I'm doing is, is wrong. I need to like focus. I need to focus. They drew a land, no! And we get to draw another card. So lucky. This is a nice song. This is very relaxing. Calm me down. Calm me down. Matt, calm down. All right, Matt. Let's take a, take a minute. It's all good. Could have had the Monarch. No big deal. Not like you need that ever, you know? <laughs> Could have like ate the Mox Diamond. I have both. When one Shadow Spear isn't enough, you have Basilisk Collar. Because Basilisk Collar is also good with uh, Walking Ballista. You know, we're just going to make a, a big old dude. Oof. Kind of wanted to get that. Do I not make a... Do I not make anything here? Is that ever correct? I can just get Shadow Spear and hope they can't have an instant speed answer. I mean, they might have like... They could have a lot of things here. I guess I could just animate Inkmoth Nexus. So I think I'm just gonna to float here. Uh, 
Prismatic Vista, baby. I'll never not take a chance to do that. Uh, I trophied with it earlier this week, so I wanted to try it on stream. You're legally allowed to name Mox Diamond, but you will not be happy with the result. Oh, they have Trample. Oh, I forgot it has Trample. Oh, well, I would make the same play anyway. I would make the same play anyway. But I, I did forget it has trample for a second. Like, I would still tag a Mox Diamond while Vistas are needled and Thorns in play. Thorn has been great. I'm so glad I didn't cut this. Yeah, if you gave Mox Diamond a non-mana ability, you could shut that off with Pithy Needle, correct. Uh, what are the odds they have an instant speed spell? I'm probably supposed to just attack with both again. Play this. Like, guarantee I get the Monarch. This is also a tax for eight. Get there at four. Get this bad boy back. Like, I'm being maybe, like, overly cautious by attacking with the Ink Moth Nexus as well. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. Like, this has War 2. Next turn, I'll just attack. I'll just, like, play two things and attack with this. GG, opponent. Yeah, they just, they just hunt Fireball. <laughs> it's like, oops, all spells. Just with, just with, uh, fourth. It's just crazy amount of mana. Instead of Rituals, it's, like, Mox... But I just feel like... Yeah, like, you saw the... They had Mox Diamond, but no land drop. It's just like, there's no way that the math can work out. Yeah, it was just like, I was like talking about what I, like, why I, you know, m my, my opinion of the deck, like, you know, it just seems so tight. You need a lot of lands. Yeah. Lawler's tank. They always play eight cast. Um, oh my god, this has the potential to be so insane. This has the potential to go nuts. 
Like it, it's a little, it's a little close. We want like an eight, like an age of tomb or a saga off the top would be, would be nice. <clears throat> yeah, eight blast up. That's maybe later. The uh, how are you doing, Dan Solver? Uh, Crusher bot made it to the finals of a challenge with it. It's I, I, I played it before. It's four shrapnel blast, four galvanic blast. I played it before, but their version is a lot better than the one, <laughs> than the one I played. So. Oh, they're on Oops All Spells. Okay. <laughs> Normally on Acast, I face them when they're on Oops All Spells. Sure. <laughs> we have a real real gamer opponent. This is this is how we lose, right? We face... Uh... <laughs> we run into the fucking Oops All Spells. I, I played the shit out of Oops All Spells, but... I mean, come on. <laughs> like, what the fuck are we doing here? Uh, hanger back walker. I want anything that's fast, like the lead to these super fast kills. Hanger back's a little grindier. This is artifact creature, right? Yeah. Um, ballista's. Pretty bad, honestly. I think I want all the one drops. Hatchwork. I know, I'm kind of too many creatures. Ozolith. I guess they'd lost so many times with, uh, <laughs> they probably lost too many times with, uh, with a cast versus Bowmaster that they're just like, fuck it. Fuck everyone. <laughs> just oopsing people. Oh man. I, I, they have turn one with packed. Sure. They have thought seized. That's the yeah, pretty weird name, but could be. This deck typically would play Fairy Macabre. I actually subbed in the... Fairy Macabre is actually better here. Yeah, like, I, I think they, they probably should have named Fairy Macabre. Unless they saw my Twitter post, I guess, but... Oh, they have the turn one with therapy. Opponent is a gamer and got the stuff our trophy. That's a bad play. That's a bad play. I should never do that. Um, so I actually think I have to besage you this. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my God. Ah. Fucking Moto letting me misclick because I floated. Shouldn't have floated. All right. Punts on me. Damn. Yeah, I, I just would save you this, and, and then I get Graph Digger's Cage. Yeah, just so fucking irritating. So irritating. It happens. It happens. Face like... You know, at least we lost quickly, but... Like, there's, it's crazy they played that out. There's no reason to play that out. Like, if I draw Ballista, I could ping it. Like, oh, man, it gave me every chance in the world. And they obviously blind name Surgical, which is, I mean, like I said, it's probably 50-50, but typically versus these decks, they run Fairy Macabre because of the Thorn or Chalice effects. But I guess they're, they're just way ahead of me. Nope. Um, damn. Like, we probably still would have lost game three, though. So, 
won't take it too harshly. God, actually. Like, we actually have just so much hate for Oops All Spells post board. I don't think I'm supposed to mold to. <sighs> Brutal. Like, imagine if we just had, like, Thorn of Amethyst. Painful. No, that was that was off, unfortunately. What the fuck do I keep facing Chromox decks? It's just, it's just replacing a Epic Storm, it looks like. They're just going to go for a Relay. Cool. Really interesting. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a shame that, like, a, like a really well-fought fought league is going to lose like this, but, you know, them's the breaks, I suppose. Them's the breaks. Uh, Hearts is, like, fine. Yeah, rough, rough, really rough pairings after winning that uh that that really hard third match. Like the thing is, oops, oops, I messed up by not besieging. Obviously, like they it gives them one draw step to hit mana. Otherwise, my saga gets a graph digger's cage. So that's like, yeah, it's pretty pretty tilting. Looking for turn one thorn, and we don't have it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it because it's like one, like, it has, at least has a piece of interaction. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of the. Because I want my play to be turn one patchwork, turn two Ozolith plus Pithing Needle on Bushclaw. So. Can we play Loam next? I, ha I do have five color Loam in the queue. Uh. Because like we're, I, I don't want to mold down to like three to find ancient tomb and thorn. A thorn would be pretty nice though. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to name Wishclaw. Let's get in there. Like, it's a pretty fast clock having four power on turn two with Ward. It can't be Decayed or Chain of Vapored, so. Yeah, really rough, though, starting 3 0 into Oops All Spells and, uh, and, and uh, Tess. It's, like, definitely unfortunate. Uh, I do have Lomer Boys five color loom lists. 
which I, uh, there's two cards that weren't on Moto, so I just put in a Savens Reclamation and Cosmic Rebirth just to get back these busted cards. Or we could play Ape Blast with, uh, so, Ornithopter, Synthesizer, Bolt, Shrapnel Blast, Retrofitter Foundry. They added Fable and Braze Apprentice, which I did not have when I played the deck, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there was one Malloc, so, uh, yeah, exactly. There was one Malloc I had to, um... I had to substitute and uh, that dog planeswalker. So that's kind of annoying, but. Although I'll run, I'll run a poll. Y'all vote. I'll play whichever chat wants, unless someone wants to pay me to play a deck, which would be pretty cool. Um. And again, whatever happens in the votes, if you pay me money, I would do that, considering I get nothing for doing this. <laughs> I will take anything. But, uh, yeah, otherwise I'll just go with whatever chat wants, so... Pithing Needle on Wishclaw A. That's annoying. about four mana? Do they naturally have tendrils in hand? That would suck. Or I guess a wish. I mean, there's nothing to slow roll. They just play the wish and I concede. Like, there's, there's nothing, like... Just play... <laughs> You don't have to wait so long. Oh my god. Just cast it. We're all grown ups here. Okay. Sure. Alright. Um, so 3 2. Double. Pretty bad pairings. Didn't draw Thorn. Any of my mulligans versus double.